Hey, how's it going, everybody, or whoever people still watch this channel? Um, SDS here, and in this video, I'm just gonna give you a vlog. Just uh, see how I've been, how I've been feeling. And I'm about to tear up right now. I'm sorry, but I don't. I'm not that sorry. See my red eyes and shit, tear. I don't care for all. You know what? Oh, men don't cry. You know, I do cry. I'm an emotional motherfucker. Uh, this, it's August 7th. This will be uploaded tomorrow on August 8th. Or right now. Um, but it is August 7th. This video has been recorded. <sighs> oh, man. You know, I, say, I look at these videos how I was in March. Uh, well, speaking, let's talk about the divorce here. I mean, nothing's really been going on still. I mean, nothing really is. I mean, for me, going on, uh, as I look back on these videos, because uh, I've made a ton, but then when this whole shit has happened, I've, not been, I've, not, I've been making videos, but not as much as I've been. And I've not really been sincere about it. I've not really been, like, the simple reviews. It's just all I like to do. I like to watch movies. But ever since this has been happening, too depressed to even watch a movie. But I now watch movies, you know. Like today, I watched Suicide Squad. Which I did a simple, re simple review for that. With, uh, Annoying Zack. Which is on my YouTube page right now. Um. But. You know, I haven't filed for anything yet. Uh, this month it will be filed because I gotta get five bucks. Well, I have five bucks. Just have to go to the library and print out these 50 fucking papers of this stupid fucking mumbo jumbo bullshit of courts and fucking government. And I, just, I fucking just can't stand fucking long paperwork. I'm tired of it. But I'm gonna be doing that soon. Um. Me and my wife and her boyfriend and her, her auntie Stephanie or whatever. They have a dog. They live in a house. So, uh, uh, you know, I just don't get it. You know, I, re I really don't get how the fuck still this year has, be has become one of the most shittiest fucking years I've ever had to deal with. And the thing is, though, I mean, I know I, I do video, like, well, I think I've been doing it mostly. I don't know if I did last year, but I do the end of the year address, and I'll be doing that later. I mean, I'm still going to do some of these videos now, but, I mean, I don't know where to start. But, I mean, they're doing fine. I get to see my son, Ronnie. I get to see him, like, twice or three times a week. Well, this week. Well, today's Monday. Oh, today's Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. I'm going to see him Tuesday, and then seeing him on Friday, I believe. Yeah. That's how I do it. We do a two-day thing. Usually two or three days. Um, sometimes I have three days. It's if I go to my grandma's, which I, I want to try to do sometime again. Um, when I have my son, it's the, the hardest days when I have my son. I, I mean, for me, being low, low on money and stuff, I can't do nothing around here. I, mean, I can play blocks and some like that. I play play doh, which I hate play doh. My uh, sister got him some play doh for his birthday. He just turned three on the thirty first of July, and um, man, he's just you know. But he, I love him to death. I still, you know, I'm not the best parent in the world, but I try. I don't want to be a fucking deadbeat. All this shit. It's just very hard for a single parent. Well, this is you know, it may not be hard for you, but. To me, it is for me, because when I was with my wife, and then she was the more disciplined one, I was the more fun one. So when he went, she wanted him to take a nap or some guy would rile him all up, rile him all up, jump, let him jump on the bed here, wrestle around with him, and he go passed out. But when you're by yourself, you gotta love the child, you know. But to me. Um, Can get out of this way. I mean, the way I've been told me to find out. I mean, I've been going to therapy lately. I got a new therapist, Jennifer. And she's fucking awesome. I, I had only had one individual therapy so far with her. I go this Thursday for the next one, but uh, uh, she's awesome as hell. It was great to, I mean, just talk and stuff. And I always wanted, I wanted a woman counselor. I didn't want to, I was. 
I had Phil Powell. He's still my therapist, still. I mean, I, I like to schedule at least one more and say, you know, well, this is it. Um, but, and also I go to group therapy. Now, group therapy would be doing a lot of stuff that I thought I would never do. You know, example, we had a thing where everybody, we had a sign, like, like we had a, a, like a paper like stuck in our back where someone put a sticky pad saying, kick me or something like that. And basically, we had to go up to everybody. I didn't go to everybody much because you know, I was shy. But we had to go up to everybody's and write something that's nice about them or good about them, you know. Um, good people. Good people. I looked at my paper, and, like mine said, nice beard, which is not really nice, it's not really styled. You got uh, cool glasses, nice tats, like, these tats suck. I mean, I got the old boy, be with some butthead, well, you can't really see it, but shitty as hell. Um, I don't even know, man. Oh, yeah, my battery's going down. But, other than that, I'm chilling like it is. Uh, therapy, yeah, like I said, yeah, I love it, and I'm gonna go Thursday. Uh, job, uh, I'm in voc rehab, like I told you before. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some job shadowing. I think this Wednesday. I don't know where, with Meyer, Goodwill, or uh, or maybe Park. I don't. I don't. What's my advisor, uh, Lisa? She was talking about. Oh, maybe you can you know, help out, work out, uh, volunteer at the uh, Parks Department. I don't know if we're going to do that, but my or goodwill, you know, it's just, my, how am I on that? How am I mind on it? I mean, am I happy about it? I mean, not really. I really don't want to work a 9-to-5 job or whatever. I really want to just be, I wish I was very popular on YouTube. I wish I had a fucking laptop. But no, I just have a camcorder and I just have a SD, SD, SD card reader, USB, or I mean a slot to put in your computer and just upload it like that. I don't have the editing software. I don't have a laptop or anything. That's my dream. Is to become a uh, YouTuber. Um, I pretend. I have 90 subscribers. But mostly, you know, the thing is, it's mostly because of the wrestling stuff. And the thing is about the wrestling, I can talk about now, about that now, about the, the slam cams, is when, well, first of all, this month is August, and there's no show in August. And then last month in July, I did post some matches. That I still I still got more than matches on my YouTube, but the thing is though, Artie Kidwell's fucking voice in the Blood Brothers, the Blood Brothers Entertainment uh, with the PA. First of all, get more fucking PA so I can hear what the hell Artie can say. Because when Zane Paisley, pa Paisley, when it, when he did the of announcing, you can understand him. And also, he was a friend of my Facebook, and I would ask him, well, hey, what was the card of the night? And he would give me the card, and I would just do because some of the wrestlers, I don't even know what the hell their fucking names are. I can't even hear or any damn thing. So some of the matches, basically, I mean, I don't know who the matches were, what are. I just, I just put the wrestler's name and put versus question mark. Because I don't know who the fuck it is. Maybe I'll get, if I do upload them, maybe I will get feedback. Uh, the fan, the, the slam cams, I enjoy doing the slam cams, uh, I mean, the going to the shows, but really, the, the last, sh the, 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 the July show was fucking terrible, just like the fucking July show was last year, I think it was, or whatever, when they had the abyss the first time. Stupid, stupid fucking, uh, repeated status, and ICW Pro doesn't know what a, a Monsters Ball match, Monsters Ball's match is a fucking no disqualification match. When there has to be a winner, but you're in Marion. Once you come to Marion, we got retards everywhere. The people don't know what the, they're stupid. I don't give a shit, and you get mad at me all you fucking want. I don't care. It's fucking dumb. Don't do it as a fucking monsters ball match. Do it as a fucking regular singles match. You stop. You had the referee stop the match. Like, oh wow, really? Because in the match, I'm pissed off in the match anyway. I tell her by off because that pisses me all off. Bullshit. Fucking dumb. And that was the worst show ever. I don't care. And what happened to all the wrestlers being close and shit? I don't know. I was close to them, but I don't know. I don't care. But I mean, and also, too, the thing is, though, also, it got me really irritated. Last First Friday in July, which also, I'll oh, speak about First Friday in a minute. First Friday in Marion in August sucked dick. This has got to be the, the worst First Friday I've ever been to in my life. But, um. But, you know, I. But. Last first Friday, I was spoke 
from the owner of ICD Pro, like, oh, you could be in your camcorder, um, just go around the ring. And I'm thinking, you know, oh, I could be around the ring? Doing the recording like this one guy does recording. You know, that's the thing, it pisses me off. Oh, these are promotions and stuff. Oh, they have people just have a regular camcorder just sitting right there, you know that? Wilbur Barry, he does the professional videos or whatnot. Yeah, he'd be around there too. You know, and it's like you had to be. I wanted to be so close with this fucking business in this local town. You know, and I'm so sick of it. You know, it's just so dumb. I want to be in the wrestling business. I don't care if it's free or whatnot. That's my dream. And it, you know, and, and I try to be there. I make these fucking videos and the slam cams and every damn fucking thing. The NWO. No respect. So, you know, I mean, it's fucking dumb. I mean, what am I even doing these slam cams for? I'm doing this for the fucking love of it. You know? I want people to know, oh, there's Sam the Slam at STS. He's on the camcorder. He's bootlegging. Well, I don't care. I'm putting free promotion out there. And I do it all the time, and I don't get nothing out of it. Oh, the only thing I get out of it is just uploading the video on my YouTube. And it says, oh, 50 views. Cool. You know? I don't know if I'll do, if I will, if I will do them next month. I, I mean, I always will, but I'm going to be doing my commentary. So I mean, if people don't like, I don't care. I'm going to have my uh, commentary in the thing, you know, because it's what I dream of. I have to fuck. You know what? I, you know how I have to be happy in this fucking miserable piece of shit world. I have to pretend it. I have to. I'm this and that. Because in reality, it doesn't fucking work. I have to pretend like, oh, you know, I pretend I'm fucking uh, Mar uh, Mark Ronaldo or or uh, Jim Jim Ross calling a match, you know. But I put I put comedic standpoints to it. But that's me. I, I mean, but the thing is, though, when they said around the ring, no. He meant round the fucking ring as a fan. Like, I said, so first of all, I'm not going to be in the middle of these people sitting down, first of all. I'm like, no, I'll just sit down. Oh, we we, we were angle. No. You, I'm going to be there. That's why I'm going to be around the fucking ring to have a better standpoint. No, you you want me to just be around the fucking fans corner around? The, I'm like, hell fucking no. I'll just sit my ass and do this. Because I'm not getting paid for this shit or fucking nothing. I'm doing this out of my fucking love. So, whatever. I want to get that out of my chest because that's what it is. Garbage. And why can't they say ICW Pro? Because I know ICW is Insane Championship Wrestling in Glasgow, Scotland, or whatever. If I'm wrong, sorry. But I mean... But I know we're in America. I mean... But you say I see the pro and it's Lucha Libre on set. Make up your fucking mind, whatever. But really, I might be. I probably do. You know, it's, and that's the funny fucking thing. I love wrestling so much, but the people here, you know, I wish I could find me a wrestling chick, whatever. Bunch of stupid fucking bitches and morons there. I mean, you can't even fucking. Uh, hell, the only. The, you know, he's. You know who he's the only attractive chick if, when she's there, or I mean the old the older chick too. I mean, is the is is Twisted Security. Uh, the young chick, or I don't know how, maybe she's young, she's underage, sorry, my bad, I didn't know. Uh, example, Troy Miller, uh, with a, a couple, two months ago, I think it was three months ago, or two months ago, it was, well, like, three months ago, it was his last show, I believe. Yeah, because he faced Link Skeen, that terrible match to have. But I was, in, I talked to him in the intermission, and he said, man, what you got that one chick? And it was the chick, uh, that twisted or Wilkos, who's the referee slash security guard. I, I did security for him for one show only, which that's kind of depressing because I wish I could do more shows. But it's a family thing, so I, that's why I don't bother. But one of the girls, I think that's his niece, cousin, I don't know. But, I mean, she's good looking. But the thing is, that when Troy said, why don't you go to her? And I'm like, what? that's Brent's part of family. Like, fuck no. Hell no. We should get a look and go, but it doesn't matter. It just sucks. But that's my problem. I'm not good social anxiety. I try talking. And then when I talk, I get like maybe a, a, a minute or 20 seconds in, and then someone has to interrupt, and then get, get, it gets their attention or whatnot. But but that's on that one. Um, there's a girl that I really, uh, well, you know what, that is that meme. Well, oh, guys can fall in love in two days. And the girl's finally living the 17th date. And, you know, my problem is, is I'm impatient. 
And that's why I rush all the time, you know. But, um, there's a girl that I like. Well, I did, I mean, I can't get her on my head. You know, but what, what can you do? You can't do, I mean, this, I mean it's, it's a chick where someone, you know, I'll say her name, Chantel. I mean, I did a view before, and. It's weird because there's two girls that I met Chantel under this year. I mean, this year earlier on in April, which I thought she was my. She was in separation, just like I am. But I'm like, there's. I don't. But then again, now you look at that, like, there's no way in hell. But the thing is, though, one of the most beautiful women. One of the most beautiful women I've ever been with. No, the, she is at the top of the class. Um. A very beautiful lady, the most mature lady I've ever slept with, or whatever. I didn't want to just sleep with her. One thing's led to another, and one night stand, which was one of the best one night stands I've ever had. But I never wanted to be a one night stand. But then I'm like I'm doing now. I'm talking about it. I'm more public. She's more private. And I told our our friends like. Oh, well, don't, well, her, it's like, well, told me we had sex, but I was happy. Because I was, I made love. I don't fuck, I make love. But no, I mean, it just sucks. You'd be stuck in the, and then a couple of days later, you you say, you're forever in the friend zone. Or get over it, you know, you're a cool guy, just wait for it. It sucks so bad, because there's Chantel and then there's Clarissa from Georgia. A, a chick to who got me in the, that got me into liking girls when I was 10, 11 years old. People have these long uh, distance relationships, and I always thought, you know, she's the only chick. And I, I have chicks of disrespect. I look at them as cum dumpsters and all that other shit. Sexual thing. Clarissa Chantel and some others I have respect for. And the things, though, I had sex with Chantel. I had sex with Clarissa. But, I mean, all that stuff. But she's a woman I respect. Um. She's like Chantel, respect. But the thing is, though, you can't have them. And that's that's my only issue, my only problem. Is I me mean, when I talk to it, it's just you don't know how bad it sucks to be alone. I, I try to be independent. And I, I can't. I mean, this whole stuff, I mean, this whole divorce, my wife did this to me. And the whole cheating thing, you know, but then again, she's out. I, all, from all the ex, from my ex-girlfriends and stuff, they never even, I was, oh, I want them back, or I would feel, I never, like, oh, I want you back, and stuff. My wife, no. It's just hate. I mean, I'm trying to be civil and being good, but I just don't get it still. I don't know why. You know, here I am. I'm a porn addict. But the thing is, is my married thing. Yeah, it may, may, may hurt, but the thing is, though, I never cheat. I never cheat. I'm a loyal guy, but oh well. Uh, but I'm, I'm here alone. I got my roommate. I got a roommate, which he fucking annoys the hell out of me. But uh, I'm still here. Hopefully, I'm going to be watching movies. I mean, I already, I already got two that should be up. And I'm trying to do as more as I can. Uh, but, I don't know. I mean, I just, movies is what's making, watching movies. And that's the thing, is, what it, I mean, I love doing my movie reviews. Even though, I mean, that's just what I love doing. I just love watching movies and getting my expertise from my views or opinions on certain scenes or this movie sucked big dick because it was a big fucking born duck I don't know but I just want to give you guys heads up I'm still here I went to August 30th to get to have a psych psychiatrist evaluation which I'm very excited to have because I don't need meds I've been waiting since May fucking first just to get fucking meds Wait for August, until August thirtieth, and it just I don't want to be on med. I don't want to be on prescribed meds, but I just want help. And after seeing Suicide Squad, I want my own Harley Quinn. I 
want someone crazy, but loves like who, like loves the Joker. Like, like love, I want a woman like that to love me like that. It's fictional, you know. It's uh, it's not reality. Um, I pretend to be reality, but reality it's not the You just that's why I love watching movies a lot because I'm not in reality. I'm in a fictional world. You know, I have a fantasy life, a fantasy world. You know, like a pretend of being with Chantel, going with her daughter and my son to the park. But, but then again, no one had effort. No, no one makes the effort to. That's the thing that upsets me too. I'll, I'm gonna end it off with here. I, I try even talking to girls online. I'm gonna plenty of fish. Meet me is definitely not the same anymore. Well, I mean, it was my yearbook back in the day. But I mean, it's just these bitches here say, "Oh, talk, oh, ask questions." Just no perverse shit. I'll be talking about stuff. But you know what? They literally look. They just they they say they just read message or just don't care. Or just people in rude rude cunts be like, "No." Ugh. Or block me for some reason, because they look. They they think the beard. I'm a chomo. They think, oh, this guy's a weirdo. And they had the glasses, you know, on the face, or whatever. What is it? It's not the same anymore. And because I used to use that. That's how I met my wife and others, you know. Because I even rejected anyone I talk, you know. But I don't know. I I'm, I'm just gonna be me and just try to live life and survive. But I just want to give you guys just an update. This is August update or whatever. I don't know. But for all y'all who watch my videos, thank you. I love y'all. Thanks for seeing this entertainment. Peace.